Hi everybody! Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. Woohoo! This is where I sit in my infrared sauna, which is the most magical little hot box there is because the heat is a different heat wave than regular sauna, and it's miraculous. It makes you just, it's just miraculous. I mean, oh. Anyway, I sit in my infrared sauna and I meditate and I detox and I sweat and it really gives me really serious clarity when you're in 135 degrees and I'm able to really focus on what I need to focus on so that I can evolve and I be, can become more conscious and more spiritually aware and so I can really focus and stay positive and manifest okay so today I want to talk about how important it is to put down your weapons and see people soul to soul and I went to this event a few weeks ago called um, Powerful You in, in Los Angeles. And one of the speakers, Dave Austin, I'll put a link. Um, oh, he was so brilliant. And he said so many little things that made me think. And that was one of them, right? <clears throat> so I'm to put down your weapons and see people soul to soul. And the reason I wanted to talk about this today, because I had an interaction with somebody yesterday where... <sighs> clearly the weapons were up before I even said anything, right? I started to say something before I could even finish my sentence. There was a defense mechanism that happened, a defensive response happened, and a turning off of the listening ear, okay? I didn't even finish my sentence, so the person didn't even know what I was going to say because it's not psychic. <laughs> I Sorry, that's a little dig. <laughs> anyway... But the same day, my girlfriend called and said that somebody that she was dealing with had the same reaction to her and she couldn't even tell them what she was trying to tell them, which was positive, And what I was trying to express was also positive without them coming back with their weapons drawn, right? And when I was listening to my girlfriend, I was thinking my about my interaction and how I was just like, what the hell? Why? 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 Why automatically be on the defensive Right? And so I was going over my notes from the conference and I came across this note that I had written down from Dave's um, presentation, which is it's time to put down the weapons and start seeing people soul to soul. Okay? And when I see that in my third eye, when I look at what that means, it's like we walk around with our walls up, our protection up ready to be, ready to strike if somebody comes at us in the wrong way. And I think it's because of what we've been dealing with for so long on this planet. The energies have been in chaotic disorder for a long time, or let's just say very intense for a long time. So I think everybody can be on edge, waiting for the next shoe to drop, waiting for somebody to come at them with the wrong message, something that's going to try to hurt them, and they're already in a position to fight. And it's time to let all that go. It doesn't serve any of us anyway. You know, it just, it adds to the low vibration of the planet. And it, what it does is the person that's coming from a defensive and sort of angry, subconscious angry place is already in a low vibrational state because they've already decided that no matter what, whatever's coming at them is going to try to hurt them and they're in this lower vibrational place, right? So if the person that's trying to communicate responds with another low vibrational, low energy, angry response, then the duo goes down in vibration. So number one, it's really critical to put down the defenses and put down the weapons and try to see somebody from their soul and from their heart. And two, if that person... You know, if you put down your weapons and you're opening your heart and somebody comes at you and they actually do want to hurt you, you're going to be in such a high vibrational place. They're not going to be able to touch you. And I'm talking about energetically, of course. You know, if somebody comes at you with a knife or something in an alley, run. <laughs> but energetically, 
we don't need to fight anymore. It's all about how we react anyway. And if we react with a positive response, it'll raise the vibration of the duo and the interaction and dissipate the negative energy, just to spell it, right? But it takes a huge, I won't say huge, but it takes a conscious effort and understanding to respond that way, right? To respond with your weapons down and your heart open and or to come to somebody with that as well. Okay, so <sighs> this is something that's going to take practice because for me, that interaction turned into to a shit show. And I admit my part in going down that rabbit hole of negativity and anger and defensiveness and like, what the, why are you going to do that to me? I'm just trying to tell you something, right? Okay, instead I could have said, take a deep breath. I'm just trying to say... And I need to change my tone and change my energy and change the way I deliver it. Or maybe even the words that I'm trying to deliver. Or maybe even just shelve the whole topic, whatever it might be. Maybe somebody's not ready to hear what you're wanting to tell them anyway. So responding and putting down your weapons and seeing somebody's soul. And if you see somebody's soul that's reacting that way with the defense and the weapons up, they're injured right? And hurting. And so how about let's send them some love and some healing energy and dissipate and dispel the angry, warlike, defensive, weapons drawn nature that a lot of times is so easy to fall in these days. You know, I had to happen on the phone. It's like everybody's had enough. But the way to get through it is to put down the weapons and see the soul, okay? It's a huge concept. It takes some effort and practice, but it's a great way to change your relationships for the better, all your relationships for the better, especially those that are inherently and or historically difficult. Change the interaction by changing your vibration and the way you respond. See them with their heart open and come with your heart open and you will see miraculous transformations for the better. So I'm going to meditate on that. I'm so, literally dripping sweat already, which is yay, detoxing. Um, so please subscribe. I just did a giveaway on Instagram of five free readings and I'm going to do that every month, I think, because what it's, I'm going to do is film them and their phone readings and then you know, people can get an idea of how I work. So stay tuned. Please subscribe. And thank you so much. Send me your question, whatever. I want to be of service. And oh, 